Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and I apologize for not having any Modern Warfare gameplay in this video because it definitely would have been more fitting for the topic we're going to be talking about, and the only reason why I don't have any Modern Warfare gameplay because I just deleted every single gameplay footage I had for this game, and it sucks. Like, I accidentally deleted every single multiplayer game that I had saved on my hard drive, including some Warzone games as well, so now I have zero gameplay saved of Modern Warfare's multiplayer, and of course, a little bit of Warzone gameplay, so yeah, I need to get more gameplay of that, and I'm really upset that I deleted all of that footage because I had some really good footage saved, you guys, and oh man, it's so upsetting, but either way, let's go ahead and talk about the main topic of this video, which of course is about the next Call of Duty game after Vanguard, which is crazy to think about because Vanguard hasn't even came out yet. In fact, the beta for Xbox and PlayStation and PC Weekend 2 of the Vanguard beta hasn't even came out yet, and we're already hearing rumors about this next Call of Duty game after Vanguard, which is quite crazy. So we know for a fact that the next game after Vanguard is going to be made by Infinity Ward, and we assume it's going to be a sequel to Modern Warfare 2019, and we're always kind of curious what the name of this game is going to be called, considering we think it might be called Modern Warfare 2, but why the heck would they do that? We already have a game called Modern Warfare 2. If they do that, that would be really stupid on their part, because I'm pretty sure all of us would much rather have a Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered than them making a a new reboot Modern Warfare game called Modern Warfare 2. Anyway, that's just really stupid. I kind of went on the tangent there. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what I really want to share with you guys because NVIDIA actually leaked some pretty big titles that are going to be coming out in the future. And I mean kind of far, a little bit far out there in the future. These, of course, can be PlayStation, Xbox, and PC games. And one of these games was actually the next Call of Duty title, but it had a code name, which was Project Cortez. And what's interesting is that from other sources, they confirmed that the the game is going to be centered around U.S. Special Forces fighting a covert war against Colombian drug cartels, and so if this really is going to be the plot, it actually sounds really interesting. I think this is something I can definitely get behind, and I'm sure the campaign will be very fun to play. You know, I will admit, as much as I hate Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer, the campaign was good. You know, yeah, it was pretty short, but each mission I felt like was very high quality, and it always kept me on my feet. I was very interested in the story, and I think they did a great job with the rebooted story with these Modern Warfare characters, and so I'm really curious to see how they're going to continue this Modern Warfare story with their next game, which of course is going to be coming out in like 2022, which is like, real, like, like doesn't sound that far, you know, because it's 2021 right now, but we haven't even had Vanguard come out yet, so, and we're already talking about this other Call of Duty game that's going to come out afterwards, which sounds really weird, but either way, the story for this next game actually does sound really interesting, and I'm curious to see how it's going to turn out when we do get more information much further down the road in the future, uh, but nonetheless, yeah, we have basically an idea of what the next Call of Duty game is going to be after Vanguard, and that's pretty much the only information we're going to get as of right now until probably next spring. That's usually, maybe that's usually the time when we start getting legitimate leaks about the next Call of Duty game, and oh man, you guys, I am just hoping to God this next game that Infinity Ward makes is nothing like Modern Warfare 2019. Oh my goodness, I can't stress this enough, you guys. I can't stress it enough. I just hate Modern Warfare's multiplayer. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you guys love Modern Warfare's multiplayer. I'm sure you guys think it's probably one of the top five, maybe even top three best Call of Duty games out there. I 100% disagree with you. I definitely don't think it is. And so I really hope that they change their mind about their philosophy on how they make multiplayer games in this next game, considering that the philosophy they had with Modern Warfare was terrible because they wanted to cater to noobs and cater to people who are more casual and not as hardcore players like I am, which was so stupid, and so, anyway, either way, I hope this next game for Infinity Ward is going to be good, they really do need to, like, impress me, if I'm being completely honest with you, because Modern Warfare was a huge disappointment, first of all, there's nothing to grind for, that's another thing I wanted to mention, but anyway, I can go on forever about it, either way, I just want to share this information with you guys about this next Call of Duty game, because I do find it quite interesting, we're already hearing something about it this early on, but thanks to NVIDIA, they d they leaked, like, had gave us all these different games, and including this Call of Duty title. So anyway, just something interesting I thought I'd share with you guys. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe to the channel for Call of Duty videos every single day. And I shall catch you guys later.